Hello Targ, our friends. Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and it's time for another work mode workout. Today was max effort deadlift day and I'm happy with today. I feel like progress has been made. We got to keep moving forward. But for those of you who like these type of videos, please remember to click like down below. Thousands of you watch them every day. Keep the likes higher than the dislikes. Reach down and click like before we get to the heavy pull. Okay, that's the rules. Now, over to the lifting. Uh, 575 off one is deficit. Easy. Pulled it easy, had it under control, held it at the top, held on to the grip on the way down. Uh, the extra grip work's paying off. That doesn't mean we quit. I feel like the grip work needs to be an ultra high priority for me for a very long time. Maybe to the point of becoming almost a grip specialist. Because it'll make me better at my benching and my deadlift. We already saw some bench improvement this week from it. We need to keep going with all that. Uh, and I need to make sure my tendons are strong, make sure I don't tear anything. And this all ties in together. So this was really good. And we could argue a coulda, woulda, shoulda when I went for the 600. Because I felt like I had a 50-50 of getting that 600 today. People would say, man, if you had just gone 10 pounds lighter and gone 590, you would have got it. Well, maybe. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Probably. But that doesn't care. What matters is what you did do. Okay. So people will say, well, why did you miss the 600? You got it a lot higher than you did that deadlift the other day. Yep, that means we're improving, right? The grip's gotten better. But why didn't I get it? Because I'm not strong enough. Okay. People need to, to learn to say that more often. Why did you miss that lift? Because I was not strong enough to lift it. So I need to get stronger. Now, specifically... Biggest weak link was erectors on this, right? Now, people say, well, that's only because you're at a deficit. Well, maybe. Maybe. But I need to be able to pull over 600 off a deficit. 600 plus off a deficit needs to happen for my long-term goals. So we need the erectors to get stronger. And that's what people need to realize. When we do variations, when a muscle weakness comes out on a variation, you better address that weakness. Because that variation is going to have a direct application to what's going on. Okay. Your variations tell you what your future weaknesses are about to be, even on the classic lift. I need to get my rectors stronger. Um, could I stand to probably have some more hamstring to follow through? Yeah. Do I need to keep doing the grip? Yes. People say, well, why grip if the grip is held okay? Because it needs to get stronger. Number two, stronger grip always helps. Your grip strength will always improve your deadlift. I don't care how strong you are. You guys notice that every human being on earth can pull more with straps than without? Even guys who have a phenomenal grip can put straps on and add 20, 30 pounds to their deadlift. Okay. I had someone say that the other day. Well, didn't you pull whatever with straps a year or so ago? With straps. Now I'm exceeding it without straps. That's an improvement. Okay. That is an improvement. That's why when a guy throws on straps and they hit a certain lift and people say, well, his back was No, no, it is not the same. Because that person just did some extra grip training, they still probably wouldn't necessarily get their strap max. That's how it works. So, erectors need to be addressed, though. A lot more erector work. Good mornings on deadlift days. Um, I went ahead and went up five more pounds. Went 215. Slow controlled. As I went further into these, I started getting them deeper. Um, I only do these till I go deep enough to get the stretch in my hamstrings. That's what we're worried about. Control, stretching the hamstrings, but it also works the heck out of my middle and lower back. The mid and low back needs work. Okay. We address that with good mornings. We address it with rows. All right. It has to be addressed. It's going to make my deadlift go up. Let's talk about what lifts will build my deadlift. Good mornings, pin lay rows, include ham raises. That'll build my deadlift. So why didn't you do the hip thrust today? Because I don't think the hip thrust carry over that well to my conventional terms of the musculature involved, I'm not saying they don't help, but I already do them on squat days, and I do them with hard progression right now. I'm going to focus on the lifts that I feel will carry over the best to that lift. Hypertrophy, those muscles. We obviously do hip thrusts every week. All right, we do those every week. I didn't feel like my glutes were that big of a deal. felt like mid and lower back really is what limited me today. That's why I didn't get that 600. My back wasn't strong enough. Instead of just saying I wasn't strong enough, let's say what part of me wasn't strong. My back needs to be stronger. 
Now you guys are saying your black is plenty strong. No, it's not. If my back was strong enough, I would have got it. So the lies that we tell ourselves, the lies that your fans tell you, you guys got to watch that too. The people who are rooting for you will lie to you. Now your back is plenty strong. All right, you see how people lie like that? They mean well. But they're wrong. And if you listen to them, you're going to fail. You take your weakest links and you train them. My back was the weakest link. It got priority today. So we did the good mornings. Did a five pound PR. Okay. Those little PRs count. Five pounds adds up here and there. Especially on a lift like this. It has so much direct carryover in terms of the hypertrophy and the movement pattern. Five pounds on your 10 rep sets here or there. When you are able to do it, adds up. All right, it adds up. So we did five sets of this. 215. For those curious, what's my increase is 215. 215 is plenty on a good morning. I did have a friend who equal that sent me this thing of him doing like a six rep set with 275. And it's like, well, look at my good mornings compared to yours. It's like, but look at your deadlift. You're not even within 50 pounds of me. The reason we go slow and controlled, do the stance that we want, work the muscles that we want. Good morning is a very versatile exercise. I'm doing it in a way that I know is going to give me what I want with this movement pattern. It's hypertrophying my weak links to my deadlift and hypertrophying most of the muscles in the deadlift. At least all the primary movers. And we did our pin lay rows. Obviously the same weight I did yesterday, which is a weight bump. Had to regrip it a little bit through here. Because it gives me one heck of a forearm cramp. We're going to go back to the pin lays every day with the axle bar. I mean, if we want to talk about grip training, this alone, doing pin lay rows every day with an axle bar, this alone is a phenomenal grip, grip training. But it's not all we're going to do. But I can tell you right now, it is, it is definitely going to contribute. I feel like it's already helping. So we got to do. Uh, it's going to be a mainstay for a bit. All well, this axle bar work, forearm work, grip work. Build my grip in forearms. And we're going to need all that. Like I said, we'll, we'll see the bench and the deadlift increase from this over time. All right, it'll be an important, important uh, change. I think we'll see it. Then I got over to like the glued ham raises next time. I did three by 10. They were tough today. Like after doing this other stuff, they were tough. And honestly, I feel like the glued ham raise, it's, I don't do it as much as I, as I like because it's so fatiguing once I get to the end of a workout and the hamstring cramps. But honestly, I feel like it, it really carries over to my squat. Now people would say, I don't get that. Well, that's okay. You don't have to get it. It has to do with my hips. I'm, very, I'm a very hip-dominant squatter. I feel the glute ham raise in my hamstrings and my hips. It just beats my hips up. So, uh, as far as that goes, yeah, it, it has a lot of carryover to my squat. But, the hamstring there. Help with the deadlift. And we've got to think about it from the injury prevention. The injury prevention and it matters. But if you think about it, these three movements I did today, would all of these build a conventional deadlift? You bet. We did a lot of volume. Now people would say, well, it's only three sets of the glute ham raises, but my hamstrings are already very fatigued. I did pretty much a PR with five by 10 on good mornings. My hamstrings got a lot of work. This finished them. Like if we don't even count the maxes, this is eight sets of direct hamstring work. I train my hamstrings every two days. This isn't counting the pin lay row towards it either, and there is some, some stretch on the hamstring here. So it counts. But I will say that the third set, I wasn't able to get at the top on a lot of them. Like the range of motion I felt was compromised at the peak on the last set. I just, I was struggling with it because it was hard. My hamstrings, my hips, everything, it's all they had. But we still did the work. And the main thing is, it's like, uh, I'm not that worried. Because it's still working everything in the in the range of motion I need it for the deadlift. But they were tough today. And I do struggle with sometimes getting to that top against the band right now. I might need to reduce the band. And I probably will. I may need to go to the next lighter band back down again. 
because at the end of the day, we're doing these really fatigued. We're doing these after PR after PR and heavier and heavier work all the time on the main list. We're more fatigued as we get to this. So if I've got to use a slightly lighter band, that's what I have to do. And I think I'll need to in order to get the, the top. But I'm getting the bottom. I'm getting that point where, where we're bending the knee. And my hamstrings definitely got worked because they were lit up after doing these. They were lit up. But the third set, it was just tough. But again, I'm fine with that. Three sets of ten, pretty much limit sets. After very serious deadlift attempt and miss with a deficit, small PR on the good mornings. We got plenty of posterior chain work. This is just finishing it off. This is making sure we work the other functions of those muscles because they don't. All, not all three heads of the hamstring get hit on a hip pinch. They do on this exercise. Kind of like what I do with my triceps, right? Same thing I do with my triceps on pressing day. Uh, but good workout. I'm happy with it. I got good data from it. Got some good lifting in. I uh, feel like I didn't work on good hypertrophy for my weak points. So I'm happy with it. We're going to keep moving forward, keep improving day after day after day without making excuses, right? Excuses are for the weak. We just keep getting stronger. All right, guys, well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.